Let's take a look how to make typo made out of pencils here in Adobe Firefly and Illustrator. So first we're going to start in Illustrator and we're going to need to recreate the silhouette of the letters and the typo. And as you can see, I also made the pencils more precise. So the AI knows exactly where to put the eraser and also where to put the tip of the pencil. So I'm going to show you first how I did this in Illustrator. This is the text I went with. And as you can see, it is made out of strokes, which you also can increase and decrease. And now we're going to need to make the edges sharp. So I'm going to select this one, for example, let's go to the stroke. And yeah, here we got the stroke profile and here you can select this one with profile number three. And it's going to make the ending sharp, but as you can see, it made also the opposite sharp. So in order to make this back to normal, I'm going to press shift plus W or you can go and select the width tool. All you need to do is go here and just bring it to the right and it's going to go back to normal. You also can go here and make this part more wide. As you can see this uh, crossing line here, now you can pull it and it's going to make it more wide. I'm going to do the same thing with this dot here. It's going to be a crossing line, bring it up and it made it more wide. Also, the second thing we're going to need to do is add some gradients. So that way it is going to highlight the lines where they go, if they go under on some lines or above some lines. So for example, I'm going to select them and make sure that the stroke here is on the top. So click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top. And now let's go to the gradient, click on the gradient and let's activate it. Also, I'm going to double click on the white and change up the color to something more stronger. And we're going to go here to the stroke and select apply gradient along stroke. And this way you can see the stroke with the gradient is intertwining on the letters. And about least all you need to do is select the pen tool, switch up to fill, select the color. I got to go with a blue and I just going to draw here an eraser. Doesn't need to be perfect. The AI is going to modify it anyways. So basically this is how you should do the whole thing and I'll at least export it as a JPEG. Now let's go to Adobe Firefly, click on generate. Let's clear up the prompts and we're going to go and select the white screen. Make sure you're in the photo. Let's go to reference image, click on upload image and let's go and select the reference image. Click on open, continue. Make sure to increase the strength to 100%. Scroll down. I'm going to select hyper-realistic. Scroll down more. Go to the light. Select studio light. And I'm going to type into the prompt. Made of yellow pencil with pink eraser and sharp graphite tip floating isolated on white background. And let's click on try prompt. And check this out, guys. The second option just came up perfect. Now, this is a complicated tutorial. It won't work out all the time. For example, this one is incorrect. Here is incorrect as well. Mostly it's incorrect. And it hardly is going to generate the right stuff. But in this example, came out pretty good. But the only issue here in these letters is that it didn't regain the octagon shape of the pencil in these letters here. So we're going to go and click on generate some more. So finally, after a couple of attempts, check this out. The second one actually came out perfect without any flaws, actually. So if you want to keep on this track in the correct way, you can go here to the edit and let's go and select use as a style reference. And let's click on close, click on generate. And we got some other wild results, but we're going to need to set up the style reference here. I'm going to decrease the visual intensity and maybe increase the strength. Let's see what happens. Not really good. I'm going to decrease the strength all the way to zero. Try some more. And as you can see, this one came out pretty good as well. So yeah, this is how you make floating pencil text here in Adobe Firefly and Illustrator. Thanks for watching.